Hey there, welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. Well, hey, the holidays do bring a little bit of stress sometimes on cooking meals. And uh, I want to show you how I use the Ninja Foodie to really make a difference in our holiday meal preparation. Normally when we cook, it's just for the two of us, my wife and I, my, my daughter has grown and we don't have a lot of guests all the time. And so the foodie oven is perfect just for making small meals. But what happens when the holiday comes and you've got multiple people attending and you've got big uh, meals with lots of side dishes and your oven is being used by your turkey, your big ham or your giant roast and it's just being utilized for hours. What do you do with all the other side dishes? How do you make them? And I was trying to organize it out, figure out how I was gonna cook the various items. And so for the four and a half hours, I think it was, three and a half hours, four and a, four and a half hours that our turkey was in, um, you know, the only thing I could put in the oven with it was the stuffing that in a separate tray, it was cooking and just heating through well. And so what did I do with all the other items? Well, I wanna show you how I cook them in the Ninja Foodie. It's gonna be reenactment, so I'm not gonna use pot holders and stuff like that to take stuff out of the oven, but I wanna show you how I made the various items and kept them warm because that was the stressor for me. Okay, how do you cook an item that needs to be you know, in order to make room in the oven that gives you yet another hour to cook other items and yet keep that food warm. Well, I, I figured it out on certain food items that could handle um, coming out a lot earlier. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you how we did this in the foodie. Okay, so as we get started, I just wanna say thank you to all of those who seem to really enjoy our foodie videos. Um, I never intended to be the foodie guy, but really, uh, you guys have taken to our review of it, and I sure do appreciate it. Um, so, first thing we did is we had a macaroni and cheese topped with uh, some stuffing mix, uh, just to give it a nice bread topping. We cooked that in the oven at 400 for nearly an hour, and, uh, and so while that was going, then I prepared uh, our roasted butternut squash and um, Brussels sprouts with bacon and cranberry mixture. And so those sat there waiting. All of these items cooked at 400, although it doesn't matter because the foodie, you can change the temperature, you know, uh, for each item. So the macaroni and cheese cooked. Macaroni and cheese, when it came out of the oven, I needed to keep it warm, but it didn't need to, um, it wouldn't matter because it's just the pasta and cheese, the top of the oven stays very warm. In fact, you should not touch it while it's in operation. But I thought, wow, I could just set these here and keep them warm like a warming tray. I suppose it's not recommended, so you follow recommended guidelines, but if you choose not to, this is what I did. And so uh, I just want to let you know, you make the decision on your own to follow the guidelines. In any case, I left the macaroni and cheese sitting here while then I cooked the roasted um, butternut squash. Just put it in there, nice flat tray, cooked it for 40 minutes until it heated through. And then I took it out and put it right on there. It was okay, kept it warm. Uh, when we started serving our meal, it was plenty warm. And then I cooked the final item of the Brussels sprouts and put that in there and they only needed to cook for 15, 15, 20 minutes or so. And then I took that out. You know what? I had that all timed so that when our meal time was starting, all of this was ready to go. I had pulled the turkey out, I had pulled the stuffing out, I had made our rolls, and then we set the table and we had a great holiday meal. 
I hope that gives you some ideas of how you can use the foodie to be a, a, an additional oven. A lot of us don't have kitchens that are big enough for two ovens. And, uh, and you know, when all of a sudden you're met with how you make all these different side dishes to stage it out in a way so that you can bring everything to the table at the same time piping hot. Um, that's really helpful. And the Ninja Foodie really made a difference for us this holidays. And I have not regretted this purchase a single day. Uh, thank you for following the links below to uh, perhaps buy a foodie oven or, you know, the various baking trays and parchment papers that I've recommended. Uh, it really has made a difference. Uh, we're not sponsored by foodie uh, or anything, but we do have an Amazon affiliate link where we make a small commission off of everybody's purchase. And we sure do appreciate you using those links. Uh, if you are here because you like our foodie content, I hope you'll check out our other content too. We're we go to Disney and do vlogs there. Uh, I'm an artist and I've shown a lot of my painting process as well as a few other things. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for being here. I hope you'll enjoy the Ninja Foodie for your holiday meals or any meals where you are inviting and gathering with folks, bringing them over and celebrating uh, life. It's great to come back together with people and sit around a table and enjoy uh, our wonderful meals together. So. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.